Here's a little better view of the front of this thing, the way it's arranged. So you can get to in, into these two pockets, the outside pockets, with the flap on it. You don't have to undo the straps to get in there. And this bigger one in the middle. This is exactly big enough for a U.S. Uh, mess kit. Slides right in there. You got a little bit extra room, but not much. And that's exactly what it was designed for. It's your meat can pouch. It's a colorful names on this stuff from the 40s. Anyways, you look inside here real quick. You see, it's just simple drawstring. Keeps it in the top. This thing's basically just a big canvas bag. It's pretty well reinforced in the back here. You've got that big old leather patch. Matches up with another one on the outside. And you see the suspension straps on the bag are sewn right to it as they go up into it and meet the yoke here where the shoulder straps are sewn. It's a pretty heavy duty bag. And if you can find one that's not dry rotted, like I said, they're plenty usable. Plenty big enough. All kind of room down in there. See, I've got some tiger stripes that don't go with it. I got a Czechoslovakian fuel truck first aid kit there. My mom brought that from when she was in Saudi Arabia in 1990. Got a good old U.S. Marine Corps poncho tarp. Then we got this big old bathtub. This would be what they call the mountain cook set or arctic cook set. It is definitely large. You know. Stainless top. Two aluminum pots. There's one that nests just exactly on the inside of this. The dog knows I keep food in there. This is a real sturdy piece of gear and every now and then you can find these cheap. I think I only have twenty dollars in this one. I like it. It's a bit large. It's definitely not ultra light either but if you're winter camping you need to melt snow regularly or you're purifying water for more than just one person it's the way to go because you get like I said you've got two full-size pots and a good size pan or plate whatever you want to use this top for the lid locks on real tight thing it's an inch deep probably eight inches wide and I got two pots in here There's my bail. There's it. yeah there See, this one's been around. It's got some miles on it. And a very specific burn mark on the bottom. And I'll show you exactly what that's from. Because we're going to use it. Of course, we're going to use it. you got to use your, what, 65 year old antiques? got to keep playing with them, guys, or they'll get lonely. Okay. And what we usually will see making that burn mark All right. Yes, yeah, even the dog's getting fed up with this. Come on, let's 
see if we can get that to focus. Here we go. A Rogers stove. This is a Coleman pattern. I think they call them M1950 squad burners. Single burners, gasoline burners. I've seen them call a bunch of stuff. Anyways, this one's an old one. It goes with the rest of this stuff. It's not as not as old as the pack. Well, we never even got to the date on the pack, did we? There you go, guys. Focus. This is a Mies from 1942. There are several manufacturers of these, so if you've got a specific favorite, you can definitely find one. Certain ones are more rare than the others. Certain ones don't start as early. I think Mies was one of the first. Definitely one of the, probably the only ones to use that uh, two-piece buckle. That was dropped pretty quickly, the way I understand it. Anyways, let's get dinner together. We're going to use this to heat up this. This is a Canadian individual meal pack. I guess pack, yeah, from 2013. So this is about to be done. May as well go ahead and get into it. If you have watched other MRE reviews, and there are some people that are much better at it than I am, you'll be able to see these things. You'll be familiar with this packaging and everything else. I'll try not to get too boring and technical. But this is a mylar, I guess it's mylar. Maybe foil, maybe you can call it foil. On the inside of that paper. Kind of like your brown paper bag with a full lining and it's glued shut. Pretty small. But it is only a single meal. If I had to carry, you know, six of these for a three day mission, I'd probably be pretty salty because it'd take up my whole pack. I'm just guessing. You know, technically you'd need nine. But who wants to carry that many? Even field stripped, they don't get too much smaller than this. This is quite efficient. You'll see when I pull it out. But, let's get this stove exposed to the world. For full disclosure, I had to pull the pump assembly out of a stove from 1982 because the fuel gasket was no good on this one whenever I filled him up yesterday. So... The pump is not as old as a stove, but everything else is kosher. I just, I didn't have another gasket, so that was the quickest way to fix it.